Good evening. I hope you are all doing well. Ratzon that our learning should be a shmira for the chayalim and a refuah for those who are who are not well. Uh, we are learning Maseches Babakama Daf Ayin, and we're starting on the top line at Amre Nahar Da'e. And we're going to be ending tonight, we'll do about a blot and a quarter. We're going to end halfway down on Ayin Aleph, Amad Aleph. And a little sneak peek, if you look over at what Shabbos's blot looks like, which is Ayin Bays, uh, it's not, it's short. So uh, in, in Daf Yomi, it's a gift in Iyun, it's probably very slow, but uh, in Daf Yomi, it's Gishmak. I am not going to lie. I skipped a beat when I saw it. I was very excited. It's very, very enjoyable. All right. Top of Daf Ayin Amad Aleph. Let us jump in. Amre Nahar Da'i. The Rabbanim of Nahar Da, they told us the following. Lo kasvinan urkisa amitaltale. You're not allowed to write an urkisa. Rashi calls it a harsha. In English, we'd probably call it something like a power of attorney. Where I, by hiring you, can give you the possibility of functioning on my behalf. We are not allowed to do this for metaltalin that are in other people's possessions. Let me first paint the case for you, and then the rest of the Gemara will flow well. I struggled a lot in understanding this because I didn't have the case clear until later. Let's say that I have an item in Ruvain's property, and I want you, through power of attorney, to go collect that for me. That is our case. I own the item. My item is in Ruvain's property, and I want you to go get it for me. That's the question of Urkisa. Is that allowed? So in, in regards to metaltalin, you're not allowed to do that. Why not? Amar Ravashi Le'ameimar. He says, my time up. What is the reason for such a restriction to not allow an orkasa when I want you to function on my behalf to go get something from someone else's property that belongs to me? Says the Gemara, because of Rav Yochanan. And this was the sugya that we spent all day yesterday learning about. Amar Le'i, Mishum de Rav Yochanan. Dam Rav Yochanan, Gazal Veloni Siyashu HaBailim. Let's say somebody steals, but the Bailim, have yet to be miyayish, so really it's still theirs. The Ghana can't do anything until I'm miyayish, and therefore shneim ain't in yichol on the hakdish. Neither of them are able to be makdish an item. Zelafi sheino shelo. The ganiv or the gazlan actually, who's holding on to this item, he can't do anything because the bailim are not miyayish, and therefore it's ain't no birshuso. And zeh the zelafi sheino birshuso, and the bailim who may well want to be makdish it, but you're not allowed to be makdish something that's not in your rishus. And seemingly from the Gemara, what we're saying about Rabbi Yochanan is we're extending that din of Rabbi Yochanan. That kishem that you're not allowed to be makdish an item when it's not in your rishus, you also cannot appoint power of attorney when that item is not in your rishus. Very limiting, actually. A very limiting halacha. That means I can't halachically pay you to go get something for me from another person's yard <laughs> in the form of an orkisa, to write a proper orkisa shtar. Uh, very limiting. That's what the Gemara seems to say. The Gemara is going to discuss soon what Urkasa means. Is it Shlichus or Shutfus? We have to figure that piece out. And all of this is only version one of an Urkasa. We're going to see a more makel version of an Urkasa in a moment. But in version one, it seems to be this very limited scope that an Urkasa can be for a Karka. It just can't be for Metaltalim. And even if the Metaltalim is in front of you, we're worried about a case where it isn't in front of you. So by Metaltalim, approach number one is we're very strict about an Urkasa and we don't allow for such a thing to transpire. But Let's lighten things up a bit. There are those who say otherwise. This is a little bit different. What's the case? Same case as before, where my item was is now in the property of Ruvain, and I want to hire you to go get it. You're not allowed to do that, but only if Ruvain denies that it's mine. And then the other case of power of attorney, it's allowed. So let's say he has my bike in his backyard, and I say... Stand, power of attorney, I want to write an orchestra. No problem. As long as Ruvain doesn't deny having my item, no problem. What we're concerned about is what the Gemara says, taima de kafre, but what we're concerned about is that when Ruvain denies having my, uh, my item, then when I have an orchestra with Stan, the mechzeh is shikra. I'm saying to Stan, I hereby uh, empower you to go to Ruvain's property, and to get my bike back. That's Mechze Kishikra, Klape Ruvain, because Ruvain says, that's not his bike, it's my bike. So the Orkis, it's Mechze Kishikra, and therefore it's Usser. So two things. Number one is this is drastically different than the first case. In the first case, we were blanket, no Orkis of Imetaltalin. In, in the Ika de Amre, we're saying almost always Orkis of Imetaltalin, except for when the person holding my item is Kofair on that item to say, no, no, it's not Phil's, it's my bike. My bike, same initials, fine. 
Very good. So those are the two cases. And therefore, aval lo kafre, but in a scenario where Ruvain who's holding my item is not going to be kofar on the fact that I'm holding that he's holding my item, then kasvinan, then we allow the power of attorney document to be written in a halachic form. Is it a this is a written document. Then it's not an orkisa. It either is or isn't an orkisa. An orkisa is a written document of power of attorney. I could ask you a favor. I can hire you on the side. But in this formal way, we'll see what the difference is between what you're recommending with no written document, which is, you're my friend, go help me, right? Very different than this one, because when you write the orkisa, you're forming a halachic bond between you and that person, either as a shaliyah, where you're my messenger, you're an extension of me, or as a shutaf, you're my partner, you're my business partner. Very, very different models in halacha, which we'll soon see. The Amri Nahar Doi, in fact, so much so that this has to be written down, that if you leave out the following phrase, it's not kosher. Orkisa de loksi be, if there's an orkisa, a power of attorney document between me and you, that leaves out the following line, it's not kosher. Yeah. We have to get like a heksher on there to say, this is a kosher orkisa. It's like a ksuba. If you leave out the word vikanina, you got problems. So same thing over here, although probably with a lesser severity than a ksuba not being kosher. What is the line that needs to be in there? Where I, the Baal, will say to Stan, Zil Don, go and, and adjudicate this. Halachically, it's ki'ilu that it's yours. You're functioning on my behalf. That's effectively what this line is saying. If it doesn't say that in the orkisa, less be mishasha. Zippo. Not even worth the paper it's printed on. My time, huh? Because if you're not functioning on my behalf and you go over to Ruben and say, hey, I'm, I have power of attorney. Here's the orchestra. I'm functioning on behalf of Phil. If it doesn't say that you're like me, then Ruben is going to say to you, you're not my Baldvarim. I literally don't even know who you are. You are you're holding up a document. that Phil, Who are you? Unless it says that you, Stan Gertz, are now the owner of this item or something something like that. We'll have to see soon exactly what it is. Then the orchestra is not functional. Amar Abaye, he touches a little bit. If, in fact, the orchestra says that I am giving a third of the, of the value of the item that, I'm, that Stan's going to collect, I'm going to give a third of that item in dollars to Stan, then because he does have a, a degree of partnership, because you, when Stan goes to collect, he does have a partial ownership in uh, in the orchestra. So therefore, then Ruvain can't say, because you are a Baldvarim. I'll that it's only for a third of the value of the bicycle, but yes, but why were you set there for the bicycle? But the fact that you're getting paid a third was a deal that me and you made between me and me and you as the Baal Orkisa. So that's what the Gemara says. And Omar Amemar, Itofas, if Stan decides, you know what, I'm just going to chop a rein. I love the new bicycle. I'm going to keep it. Then great. Lo mafkin and mine. That's a crazy shita. I hired you as part of the Orkisa, and it doesn't matter. You can halachically keep it. That's his shita. And we don't pass in that way, nor is that the next shita. Ad kidei kach. That if I write an orchestra and I write in it that initial line of zil don v'zachi ve'apek l'nafshech, if I write that, halachically speaking, technically, you're now the owner. But Abayi says, it is pretty crazy. Ravashi Amar, no, it's not true, Abaye. Ravashi says, and this is quoted uh, in the Rambam, it is also quoted in Shulchan Aruch this way, that kevan de kasve lei, since in the Orkisa it writes, Kol demisani min dina kabili salai, I accept upon me whatever the halachic reality is of this situation. Therefore, Stan is not allowed to keep the full cost of the item. Shliach shavya. He's really nothing more than a shliach. And what is the din of shlichus? You function on my behalf. Right? When, if I do the chituch on behalf of a father, there's a discussion like, does the moel have a mitzvah? Is it my? It's not my mitzvah. I'm not the father of the baby. The, the mitzvah is on the. I'm a shliach. Uh, it's like a. It's keilu that the father's hand is in my hand, and I'm and, and we're doing the work together. It's not my mitzvah per se. I'm okay, enabling fine, whatever the. But it's not my mitzvah. It's not same thing over here. You're not allowed to keep my item because you're not me. You're a shliach. The ika de amar. There are those who say that no. 
it's not considered shlifus, but rather shutva shavya. Really, you and I are halachic partners. It's the difference between you being my employee and you being my business partner. Very different on the payout of dividends. Very different. In regards to taking half. If you're my shutaf, you can take half and there's nothing I can do about it. We're partners. The orkasa might make us into partners. Unless you say the orkasa is shliach shavya. In which case you can't take anything. The hilchasa, like Stan's nodding head from earlier, shliach shavya. We don't like this approach of, you know, Stan is the person in the orchestra. You can keep the bicycle. That's not shy. That doesn't make sense. That brings us to a new Mishnah, almost two thirds of the way down on Ayin Aleph, Amur, on Ayin Amud Aleph. Gonav al Pishnayim. Two people, Reuven and Shimon, witness, witnessed me doing the theft. And then the Tabachu Machar al Pihem. Those same two Adim of Reuven and Shimon watched me do the Tabachu Machar. Or, Oh, the Edim changed by the Tabachu Machar. Reuben and Shimon saw the Geneva, and Levi the Yehuda, O Al Pishnaim Acherim, saw the Tabachu Machar. The Edim for one don't have to be the Edim for the other. And therefore, if Reuben and Shimon see me executing the Isser of Geneva, and then Levi and, uh, Levi and Yehuda see me doing the Isser of Tabach or Machar, the din is I'm still Mishalim Tashlume Dalad Behe even though they're not the same Edim. We're going to discuss this with uh, in the Gemara momentarily. And as well, all of the following things. Ganav umachar b'Shabbos. If I steal and sell on Shabbos, or ganav umachar l'avodazara, or ganav v'tavach v'yom ha-kippurim, or ganav mishal avi v'tavach umachar. If I steal from my father and then I sell it, or I shecht it or sell it, v'achar kach meis aviv, and then the father passes away, if I steal it, slaughter it, and then be amaktish the meat. In all of these cases, the theme of this list is whether or not the case is a case of Kamle Bidirabamine. Let's look back at the third line of the Mishnah. Ganav umachar b'shabes. It doesn't say Ganav Tabach b'shabes. What happens if I'm Toveach b'shabes? Kamle Bidirabamine, I'd be Potter on Tashtume Dalad Behe. So the list is very specific. Look at the example of Yom Kippur. Ganav atavach v'yom ha-kippurim. Shechita and Yom Kippur is an Isser Kares, but not an Isser in Bezdin. It's not an Isser Skila in Bezdin. Fine. That's what the whole list is. And then the Mishnah continues. Ganav atavach l'Rafua. Let's say I, I, I shecht with an ulterior motive. It's for the sake of Rafua. O l'klavim. I shecht an animal for the sake of feeding an for the sake of feeding my dog. Hashochet v'nim tzeis trefa. I shecht an animal. Turns out that it's a trefa. It's the right animal, but I didn't consecrate the animal properly. In all of these cases as well. These last two cases of in those cases, Poter, Reb Shimon says, your putter from Tashlumi Arba Vichamisha. This first chunk of Gemara now that we're going to learn, six lines, five lines from the bottom of Ayin and Aleph, debates the first din of the Mishnah. The first din of the Mishnah taught us that if Reuven and Shimon were my witnesses for my Gneva, and Levi and Yehuda were the witnesses for my either Shechita or Mechira, our Mishnah says you're still Chayev uh, Dalad Vehem. Our Gemara says not everyone would agree with that. Lema, perhaps we should say Masnis in the Loka Rebbe Akiva. The Ike Rebbe Akiva, Rebbe Akiva says that all of the Eidus of the Gneva and the Mechira or the Tvicha have to be the same person. Davar, it has to be one whole entity below Chati Davar. They have to witness both elements of the crime, the Geneva and the Mechira or Tvicha. If they only see one, no Dalit Behe according to Rabbi Akiva. Why? The Tanya. The Brisa writes as follows. Amar Rabbi Yossi, Shahalach Abba Chalafta. Abba Chalafta was Rabbi Yossi's father. He was called Abba Chalafta, right? So, uh, and Shahalach Abba Chalafta, Eitzel Rabbi Yochanan Ben Nuri Lil Motora. Rabbi Yossi says that when his father went to learn by Rabbi Yochanan Ben Nuri, the Amri La, some say, no. It was Rav Yochanan ben Nuri, Eitzel Abba Chalafta. Their ages were very similar. It seemed to be they were Tamid Chaveirim. We have to figure out exactly what their history is, but not for now. Um, Omar Lo, they discussed the following Shiloh. We know that there's a rule called the squatter's rule. And if I establish a chazaka on an uninhabited property for three years, that property is mine. And if I do so, by after my third year, I no longer have to keep the star on that property. You can come up to me in the fourth year and say, where's your document? Say, 
you are late to the party. That is my property. I, uh, four years, I don't have to prove it to you anymore. I'm done. Oh, so the Gemara says as follows. In year number one, there were Adim that I lived there, Ruben and Shimon. Shnia Bifne Shnaim. The second year it was Levi and Yehuda. Shlishis Bifne Shnaim. In the third year it was Yisachar and Zvulun. Mahu. What about this din of Rabbi Akiva that we need all of the Edu Yos to be by one person? Amar Lo, whoever was talking to whoever, because we don't know if it was Abba Chalafta to uh, one person or vice versa. Amar Lo, Hare Zochazaka. You're good to go. We, we string together the edus of Ruven and Shimon, of Levi and Yehuda and Yisachar Zvulun. And even though they're different people, we, we combine them together to be a singular edus. You have a chazaka and you have no need to keep the document anymore. You can burn it. Amar Lo, he said back to him, I, yeah, you know what? I agree. Afani Omer Kain. Ella, Sherebi Akiva Cholek Badavar. Why would Rebbe Akiva argue? This is the Brysa that proves the Shita. Shahai Rabbi Akiva Omer, where an ayin Amud Beis, six lines down, what did he hold? Davar velo chati davar. He held that in order to establish a singular chayuv that's dependent on multiple eduyos, putter, putter. If you have a two-step process of edus to lead to one conclusion, then we need both of those edim to be the same. And therefore, by the case of Chazaka, I need the edim who witnessed that I was squatting in year one years two and three to be the same Aden. And if in fact year one was Ruvain and Shimon, and if in fact year two was Levi and Yehuda, and if in fact the third year was Yusachar and Zvulun, that's not a Chazaka. And I need to hold on to that document still. And if I don't have it, then they can kick me out. I'll be evicted. When we have a singular halachic moment as a conclusion, and multiple eduyos to lead to that conclusion, Rabbi Akiva says, Dover v'lo chati dover, all of the Edom have to be the same. Otherwise, no dice. Even if, one, even if the first group was Moser to the second and then to the... The Gemara doesn't discuss that. But Lechorah, that's not the case. It has to be that they are each... It is only one pair that witnesses everything. That's why in our case, in our Mishnah, the Gemara wants to say that Masnisen is Dolok Rabbi Akiva. What did we see in our Mishnah? Gun of al And it, it says in the Mishnah... That even if it was different Aethim for the second case of Gana Abu Machar, our Mishnah says, Chayv Tashlum Akiva, Rabbi Akiva says, No, you broke the rule. It's Dabar Velo Chati Dabar. We're talking about a din of Tashlum Akifel. What's required for Tashlum Akifel? Two steps, Geneva and Mechir or Tvicha. And if your Aethim are different, Potter. So maybe our Mishnah is not like Rabbi Akiva. You Chayv Kefel. Pasha. Because you don't need two sets of Adam for that. But when you get it, yes, the Gemara is going to discuss that exact line. What is the interdependency on, between these two sets of Adam? I'll, I'll just I'll foreshadow. The second set of Adam needs the first. Right? The Adam by Tvich Mechira need the Adam Gneva. Yeah. But the Adam Kfela, Kefel, don't need the Adam for Dalit Behe. Yeah. So. I mean, you you would owe Karen, you would owe Karen. But if I walk over to your animal and I shecht it, I owe you Karen, not Kefel. So let's say we had a case scenario where I don't steal your animal. I just take a machete, I walk into your yard. I'm Clive Karen. Yeah. Because Dalit Behe is dependent on Kefil. You can't have one without... Uh, but I I didn't get of anything from you. Yeah. So now we're going to get into that piece over here about how Rabbi Akiva would have answered this question. And the Gemara says on Ayin Amud Beis, and we are six lines down, Amar Abaye, don't worry. Afilu tema Rabbi Akiva. I could even explain our Mishnah according to Rabbi Akiva. Let's articulate the question again. How could it be Rabbi Akiva? Hare, the Edom for the Ganovim were not the Edom for the Tvich or Mechira. The Gemara says, because Milo Mode Rebbe Akiva, doesn't Rebbe Akiva agree? Bishnaim Omrim Kidesh, Bishnaim Omrim Baal. If we have a case scenario where the Eide Kiddushin under the Chuppah were Ruven and Shimon, and Aidim that witnessed uh, the husband or the wife cheating, let's say the wife was cheating, and then we, that was different, that was Levi and Yehuda. 
doesn't he agree that the Afal Gab the Ede Bia Tzrich and the Ede Kedushin, that even though in order for the Ede Bia to have a functional Taina of Eishes Ish, they're nothing without the Ede Kedushin, Kevan the Ede Kedushin, Lo Tzrich, the Ede Bia, since the Ede Kedushin, they don't need the Ede Bia to verify that the couple's married. That happens in a very narrow vacuum. If she cheats down the road, she's not a nice person. She did something very wrong. She's chayv whenever she's chayv. Therefore, davar karina be. <coughs> because, says the Gemara, because it's a one-directional dependency, the Aden for the Bia to show Eishas Ish require the Eide Kedushin. If a man sleeps with a woman and they're both single, they violated his surin, but it's not Eishas Ish. In order to get Eishas Ish, the Eide Bia need the Eide Kedushin but the Ede Kiddushin don't need the Ede Bia. It's a one directional necessity. Therefore, Dovar Karina Bay. Therefore, even though they're different Edim, it's still considered one Edus because it's not a multi directional need. Only the latter Edim need the prior, and the prior don't need the latter. Therefore, Hachanami, in our case too, Afal Gav the Ede Tvicha Tsricha Tsriche Le Ede Geneva, even though in order to get to the status of Dalit Behe, the second Adim need the first Adim to ensure that Geneva actually happened. Otherwise, there's no Dalit Behe. Kevan de Eide Geneva lo Tzvich le Eide Tzvicha. Since the Eide Geneva don't need the Eide Tzvicha, even Rabbi Akiva would agree that Davar Karina Bey, one set of Eidos, and not, that, that, that the separate Adim are acceptable. We combine them to be one aid because they're not multi-directional dependent. They, all, they each need each other. So but that doesn't work. That's why Rabbi Akiva over there said that that was true. There, the claims are all the same. It's the same claim three times in a row. That's not what's happening in our Mishnah. In our Mishnah, Adim number one, we're being done about the Gneva. And Adim number two, we're being done about the Tvicha or Mechira. So the Mishnah said, the Gemara said, maybe our Mishnah is not like Rabbi Akiva. No, Rabbi Akiva only has the rule of Dabar, Velochati Dabar, when the Edu Yos, can, are, are, they all are interdependent. If I had to draw a line between the Adam of year one, year two, year three by Chazaka, I would draw a line from one to two, two to three, two to one, two to three, three to two, two to one. They're all perfectly enmeshed. That's not true by our case. And therefore, our mission could even be like Rabbi Akiva. Hi, Virabanan. What about the rabbis who don't agree with Rabbi Akiva? Hi, Dover, Velo, Chazi, Dover, Lemaute, Mai. What do the rabbis who disagree? Remember in the top of the, top of the Mishnah. In the top Mishnah, Rabbi Akiva said, the A just doesn't work because everybody's so interdependent. What does the other sheet to hold? We learned that from Dover Velochati Dover. What do they hold? They said it was a Chazaka. Rabbi Akiva said, no way. So how do we learn the other Shita? The Rabbanan, what do they say? Hi, Dover Velochati Dover, the Mute Mai, says the Gemara. This is a sugya of establishing whether a young girl is a Gdola, whether or not she's maybe Shte Se'aros. Once a, a girl is maybe shtei se'aros, she is begeder a gedola midel raisa under certain circumstances. So, what's the example of davar velo chazi davar? This is a case scenario where the Gemara says lemeute echad omer echad begaba the echad omer echad bekresa, where there's a single witness who says I saw one hair on one part of her body, and another single aide said I saw a different hair on a different part of their body. So maybe that's what the Gemara means by Dabar Velo Chati Dabar, that that's not Edus. You only saw one hair. That's not Edus on Shtei Saros. You got one guy over here who says that there's Edus Begaba. By the way, Begaba does not mean her back. Rashi, a third of the way down, Begaba. Seya Raisi Bekishrei Etzbe Oseha. She has a, a, a hair. A, let's say her hair is peach fuzz on the knuckles. She has one bl black hair, like it's a grown pubescent hair. Oh, so then that's Edus on one hair. But the Gemara says, if it's Echad over here and Echad over there, that's Dabar Velo Chatsi Dabar. That's not Edus. What? The Gemara is going to reject it in a second. But it, it shouldn't have been that way. We're going to discuss that in a second. Mamish, that's the next line of the Gemara. So the Gemara says, wait one second. If you claim that one person, that Reuven saw one hair of a Kishrei Etzbe and Shimon, he's a doctor, and he saw one hair uh, somewhere else on her body. Hi, this has two problems with it. First of all, it's Chatsi Dabar, and also Bechatsi Eidusu. It's two issues with this. Pasha, that won't work. Obviously, if you have 
Echad that we see one hair bekishres belsa, and one person saw a hair on her on her arm. Pashut that that's not gedola status, but because of two problems, not because of one. It's davar below chati davar. It's also only chati edus. You as one person are not helpful. It doesn't. You're not doing anything. So the Gemara says, like Stan says, Ella, you're right. Just about halfway down, Ella lemeute. It's rather the words davar below chati davar is to exclude shnayim omrim echad begaba. The Shnaim Omrim Echad Bekresa. Hani Amre, according to one set of Adim, Ktanahi. The Hani Amre Ktanahi. What is the testimony of those two guys? What do you see, Levi and Shimon? One hair. What do you see, Ruvain? In, uh, oh, I only see one hair. Okay, so she's a Ktana. Why? Because Dover below Chatsi Dover. So that's how the Rabban and our Mishnah would teach. The case of Chazaka is fine. They hold totally differently than Rabbi Akiva. Completely different lumdas than the lumdas we just went through about is the second edus dependent. They're, they're not touching that. Mutter ve mutter ve mutter. That's fine edus on all counts. The case of Chazaka, all of those cases are fine according to the Rabbana. Where do they draw the line? In a case where two edim are witnessing, uh, uh, let's say in this case, one hair of a girl as she grows up. And that is, uh, that's nothing. That's Dabar Velo Chasi Dabar. She's not a Gedola. That brings us to the two dots. Halfway down on Ayin Amid Beis, heading to the middle of Ayin Aleph, Amid Aleph. Let's continue. We had said, Gan Abu Machar B'Shabbos, that if I steal and I sell on Shabbos, well, stealing is usher, because uh, you're not allowed to steal. It's not a unique din on Shabbos. You're just not allowed to steal. Um, and then Umachar, if I sell it on Shabbos, that's an Isser Durabanon of Mekach Umemkar. So the halacha is that I'm I haven't violated any isuri do raisa. There's no kamle b'derab. I shouldn't say that. Let me say that again. I haven't violated any chiyuve skila or any chiyuve misa, and therefore the din is that because there's nothing overriding, I'm going to be chayiv on tashlume dalid behei in this case. Where's the machira? Machira. Do we have to discuss that in the gemara? Beautiful question. That's great. The Atanya, the gemara says, wait one second. I know what this brisa says. But we have another brisa. I know what our Mishnah says. Our Mishnah says Tashlume Dalit Behe, the Atanya Pater. We have a brisa that says that there seemingly is Kamle Bidirabamine. But how is that? Ama Rami Barchama, Kitanya Hahi. Uh, what is the case where we say de Pater? That's be Omer Lo, where I want to buy your stolen item. You stole an item, and I want to buy it from you on Shabbos. So what do I? I'm the buyer and you're the seller. You're the seller who happens to be a Ghanav, right? So let's say. You know, um, let's say Tex steals something from my father and I want to buy it from Tex. I don't know what's going on. I have no idea that he's a thief. Tex, I want to buy that from you. It's a challah board. I want to buy it from you. So Tex says, no problem. The Omer lo, akut te'ena mi te'enasi, v'tikni li b'gnevusech. Here's how we're going to make the purchase. I want to buy the challah board. You come into my yard and pluck a te'ena. The moment you pluck the te'ena, we made the sale. Okay? It's a Kenyan. It's a Kenyan. You pluck the te'ena, that's an Israel of Kotzer, on Shabbos, you're really a Shegetz, by the way. And remember, the only way you're Chayef Skila is with Edom and Hasra. So this is a wild, unreasonable scenario. My son said this to me a couple of weeks ago. He said it to my wife, actually. I find Gemara so difficult to learn because the cases are unrelatable. A Maskib, the cases are unrelatable. But the reason we learn the wacko cases is because it teaches us the outer limits of what the din actually is. So here I say to text, text, I want the Chala board. Come into my yard and pluck a teina. He says, sure, no problem. He walks into my yard, pluck. Come lebe the rabbi mine. Mechira. He just was mocher. Mechira. Pluck. Kotzer. Come lebe the rabbi mine. And then putter. That's how we would explain that this is different than our Mishnah. In our Mishnah, the case was clean. The case was pure mechira with no, no akitza. You're not plucking any teina. The brysa that says putter was taka a case of come lebe the rabbi mine. Amri, the Gemara says, hang on one second. Let's say the following were to have been true. The cave in the Chitava Le Kaman Bedina. Let's say that I brought text into Bezdin and said, hey, 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 hey. Hey, let's say before the plucking of the of the date, right? It's like, hey, this guy owes me money. Lo Amrina Le Zil Shalim. We would not say he has to pay for it. The Mechai Ben Avshohu. Because, I mean, the person who does that Akita is going to be Chai Ben Avshohu. Ha Mechira Nami, La Mechiri. This is what text was saying. That's not even called a Mechira because what you did is Usr. Why isn't it a mechira? The fact that it's usr doesn't mean that it's not a mechira. This is a havamina. We're going to reject this later. But the Gemara assumes for now that this isn't a mechira. So therefore, that can't be the case that Tex was being okay to the te'ena because if he does that, then the mechira really isn't a mechira because it's Shabbos and you just did you just did something very wrong. 
Again, we're going to question this because it's not a Pashat Havani. <coughs> so answer number two. El Omar of Papa, really the case was, but Omer lo zrok geneva sek A little bit of a different case. You know what? Throw your geneva, throw the challah board into my yard. What are you violating? Rishus HaRabim to Rishus HaYachid, which under the right circumstances is a malacha de oraisa of Rishus to Rishus. It's a Mishnah in Ayin Gimel, Masech Shabbos. So that's also a big problem. And when the challah board coasts over the wall into my yard at that moment, right? It goes right here. Two things happen. I acquire and you are Chayav Misa. That's what happens at the same moment. So come lay the Rabbi name. Maybe that's the case of the Brysa when it says Betanya Pater. So the Gemara says... The person who was stolen from is right? He doesn't get anything. He's not discussed in the Gemara. He's, he's always going to be paid back. The question is, I do owe him Kefil or Karen. He'll always be paid back. Even if you were to be Pater on Karen for whatever reason, you're probably Chayav Kefil in that case. Unless you make a Kenyan. <laughs> Then you're not Chayav Kefal anymore. You're Chayav Karen to him. Okay, that we discussed a couple days ago. So that's answer number two. Says the Gemara, wait one second. In the case of me asking text to throw the challah board into my yard, Kiman, who is that like? Says the Gemara, back a throwback to Masecha Shabbos circa 2020, whatever month that was in. I'll tell you what it was. It was like March of 2020, almost uh, exactly three years ago to date. Kirabi Akiva, Damar, Kluta Kimisha Hun Chadamya. Rabbi Akiva was of the opinion that when you throw something into the airspace of my yard from Rosh Hashanah, as mentioned, he holds the second it traverses this space, it becomes mine. The word kluta means to absorb. So perhaps you could kind of view it as like, oh, I caught it, I got it. It's mine now. That's how Rabbi Akiva holds. However, the Ikira Banan, if it was like the dissenting opinion against Rabbi Akiva, only when it lands in the Chatzar is there a Kenyan. We have a big problem. We have an item that can be nikne at that moment. The Mechira happens, airborne, but Shabbos happens on the ground. There's no Kamle B'derabamine there because Kamle B'derabamine is one action with two halachic outcomes, Geneva and Misa. But here... Mechira, but no Shabbos, Shabbos. That's not Kamle B'derab Mineh. So this answer only works according to Rabbi Akiva, who holds Kluta Kamisha Hun Chadamya. Otherwise, like the Rabbanan, they hold the zero. Nothing happened until it landed. The next answer, we are six lines from the bottom of Ayin Amid Beis. Or we could say, Be'omer, Lo Tikni Li, Gnevo Seich, Ad Shetanua. So according to the Rabbanon, let's remember, the Rabbanon say that the item has to fall in my yard when it lands, Shabbos happens. But on the Mechira front, I can make a condition that I don't want you to be Kona when it crosses into my yard. I only want the Mechira to happen when it lands on the ground. Namely, we could even explain this answer according to the Rabbanon. How so? We, were, we said maybe it's only Rabbi Akiva because Rabbi Akiva holds that it's Kluta the second it crosses over, two things happen. Mechira and Chiyuv Misa of Rishus the Rishus. Says the Gemara, don't worry, even the Rabbanan can have it because they can say, Mechira doesn't happen here, but tonight I made it tonight with you. It doesn't happen here, only when it lands, which is also what the Rabbanan hold is the Isser of Rishus the Rishus. No problem. <laughs> and therefore, we can even learn this Mishnah, this Brisa, according to the Rabbanan. Rava Amar, I have still another answer, and we are going back to answer number one. If you'll re recall, Rami Bar Chama had said this answer of Oketz to Enasi and then Vitikni Geneva Seich. That's what he had said. Tax come into my yard. I have a date tree. Pluck. In the moment that he plucks, the second the Ksira happens, two things happen. Your Chayv Misa and Mechira takes place. So says the Gemara, Rava Amar Laolam Ke Rami Bar Chama. And why is it? What about the concern from before? Remember we said that when you go into Bezdin, they're going to say this wasn't even a Mechira. That's not true. And let's see why that's the case. Esnan Asra Torah. We know that uh, if a man pays for prostitution with an animal, the animal is not shaykh to be al gabi amiz bag. That animal is connected to something that's vile, vile and inappropriate. It should not be happening. So that animal's is Asr. And look at this. Ve'afilu ba'al imo. This is not a normal scenario. If the mother is the zona, 
and the son is with the mother and pays her with a seh, a tzle, whatever, says the Gemara, still asnan asra Torah. I, let's say in this case, let's say that this woman goes into bed and says, my son, my son owes me a snap for my, a set for my services, <laughs> right? If that happens, you think Bezdin's going to say it's time to pay up? No, you did something usher. But listen to this. Even though it's true, that when they go to Bezdin, the Bezdin will say, you don't have to pay her. You guys are both dysfunctional. This is not normal. But, but if he does give it to her, it is an Esnan. Meaning there's a difference between the issue that took place and the halachic functioning of the, what I gave her. Granted, dysfunction on the family side, lots of family therapy. But me giving her the esnan is still an esnan. Same thing over here, says the Gemara. If you go to Bezdin, you're not going to pay. But turning into the top of Ayn Aleph, Ayn Aleph. In the case of Rami Bar Chama, if really text comes into my yard and plucks it, yes, it's usher. Yes, you should not do it. But if he does it, have your mechira. And that's why Rami Bar Chama's answer is kaftor of It works perfectly. So we have a couple of good answers to the question. We said our Mishnah says that by Ganavu Machar B'Shavis, our Mishnah says Tashlum Kefel. The Brisa says Pater. A couple of solid answers. The last one we just learned is really the first one, which is Rami Bar Chama, which is that Yes, text should not do that, but it still functions as a mechira. It still functions as a mechira. Beautiful. Let's talk about Yom Kippur. Ayin Aleph, Omer Aleph, second line. The din is on Yom Kippur that there's an Isra Kares by Shechita. It's not regular rules. It's this super quasi state of Ach. It's Yontif Ish. Shabbat Shabbaton on the one hand, but it's kind of Yontif Ish. And we know that there's like post game we discuss if a person has pikuach nefashos, do you bench with Yalav Yavo, Yom Kippur, Mazid? There are discussions in post game. It's not a regular day. It's not a normal day. Okay. So the Gemara says, Amre, Amai, why is this the din? Nehi dekat laleka. I know that there is no chiyuv misa bide bezdin for shrita on Yom Kippur. Malkus miha But at least there's malkos. And says the Gemara, the Kaimalan, the Eno, Loke Umashale. And we hold in regards to Yom Kippur and Malkos that we don't say Loke and Mishale, meaning Kamle Bidurabamine, which is odd because Kamle Bidurabamine is specifically for Misa, or so we thought. This is what the Gemara says. We hold Eno Loke Umashale. If you're getting Malkos, then you should not be paying. And if that's true, then why are you paying Kefel in this case? You should be putter because you had Malkos. Says the Gemara, five lines down. Erev may, uh, sorry, skipped a line, four lines down. Amre Hamani, who is this Mishnah, this part of the Mishnah like? Rev Meir de Amar, Loke Omashalim. That makes much more sense. Our Mishnah says you're putter in the case of, uh, of Mechira. And our Mishnah must be Rav Meir because he says, Loke, I'm sorry, you're chayev to pay Tashlumi Dal Behen our Mishnah. That has to be Rav Meir because others hold loke, uh, hold Eno Loke Mishalim. Rav Meir holds Loke Mishalim. Says the Gemara, I Rav Meir, if Rav Meir is of the opinion of Loke Mishalim, then we're basically saying that there is Kimle of some kind. Then, uh, then we're basically saying that there's no Kimle, I Rav Meir, if there's no Kimle, then there's no Kimle with Lope with Malkos either. Who cares which one is which? Maybe. Can't be. How do we know? We have about 10 lines to go. Gonab Vitovach Bishabis Gona Vitovach Lavo de Zara Gonab Shor Niskal Vitovko in all of these cases. What does Rav Meir say? He holds that even by Gana V'tavach B'Shabbos, which is the case that we needed, if you steal and you shecht on Shabbos, what's the din? You are M'shalem Tashlume Arba V'chamisha. He is categorical. There is no din of Kamle B'Dirab Seemingly, that's what it looks like, which is a little, I didn't know that that was the case. I didn't know there was a shita like that. V'chacham Potrim, fine. 
So therefore, how do we answer up, Rabbi Meir? Amre, bar mino de'ahi. That b'risa that we just learned five, three lines ago, I've gone out the Tabach B'Shabbos, that you're going to be, according to Rav Meir, you're B'Shal and Tashlumei, Arba B'Chamesha. Because in that case, Da'itmar Allah, how do we understand that b'risa? That b'risa is not what you think. It's not that I'm Gonav and I'm Tabach. It's different. That Bryce is not dealing with me doing Geneva and me doing Tvicha. I did the Geneva and you did the Tvicha. How can we have this split? One guy did the Geneva, one guy did the Tvicha. Says the Gemara because Amar Rava Shani Hacha. Just like if you sell my item, it's still my item that you sold. And here are the Mari Mekomos, the Beit Rabbi Shmuel Tana, O the Rabos HaShliach. The word O teaches that we're Marbe the Shliach of even Tvicha, that if you do Tvicha, I will still be held accountable in some way, shape, and form. From a different word, Tachas, the Rabos HaShliach. We're going to stop right here at the word maskifla. We'll pick up Amir Tashem on Shabbos, an hour before Mincha. I don't know what time. I didn't look at the announcements. A little after 3, probably somewhere between 3.05 and 3.10. We'll check it out. Uh, and wishing you all a beautiful night.